So guys, looks like this carb repair, or what I'm going to put on here, video, is going to be uneventful. Crossing my fingers. Uh, everything looks pretty clean in here. I blew through all the passageways and everything took air, so... So yeah, I'm just going to slap this back together. Now this is an aluminum forward-facing carb, which, as everybody knows, is not correct for on this. Will it run on it? Yep. So, just stick it on there and see what it runs like. I actually, this carb may go off of this and on to the 63 to 66 ish L over there that was pop banging and carrying on, but I get that thing running later. Or get it running right the whole way. So, let me put this together and I guess we'll slap it on the tractor and see if she goes, I guess, huh? Oh, I guess I better put oil in it first. Mm hmm. Alright guys, take one. I just want to see if uh, I can get this thing to do any kind of sustained run. Um, I don't have a fan belt on it at the minute. I'm running off a remote fuel cell just to see what will happen here. I got gas going to the carb. It does not appear to be leaking. And I got the throttle stop, I got it cranked out a little bit so it's set on high idle. So, any kind of crude luck, I'll see if it'll start here. If it starts and it'll you know, sit here and idle fine and everything, then I'll go forward with uh, putting a fan belt on it and getting it to run off the gas tank and stuff like that. So, without further ado, let me find a wire. Hold the, hold the choke shut, that's what I'm going to do. Choke is, choke is shut that way. Just right for the electric start car. The only disadvantage to this. Okay. I don't know if this spark plug is any good or not. I think it's going to go. Well, it fired once. The only thing I didn't mess with was the idle jet. times it fired was on the impulse. I almost guarantee it. No, I'm wrong. It's got spark. Spark anyhow, don't mean the plugs. Good. Yeah, let me try swapping, take the brand new spark plug out of the 53 and put it in there and see what happens. Take two different spark plugs. Spark. 
weird, I had to spark with the old plug. Okay, the impulse, I took the mag off, put it on the bench. The impulse is clicking every time on the bench. Every time. I oiled it. Uh, I actually took a little bit of grease off the paw, where it looked like that may have been inhabilitating its uh, ability to catch. So... What do you guys think? Full choke? Full choke, partial throttle. Take a kicks once. Take it the high low off. And put the spark tester so I can see it, huh? take the mag off of the 53 I guess I like I said I I hate doing that kind of stuff but sometimes in order to see how something runs might not be a bad idea okay so we got fire with carb cleaner getting any fuel maybe. Let's try that again, Zebra Kicks. starting to make me think it's damn points. Okay, no, it's got fire every time now. So, hold on. Let me check this idle mixture screw. Maybe that damn thing's the whole end. Try two on the main, turn and a half on idle, and see what that does. I still, I still think it's spark though. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it kicks once in a while. It kicks once, then it don't spark again.
Okay. Contact. Ah, it still only got one spark. points already or something. I don't know. Maybe the points came loose. Who knows. Clean and gap the points again. Take 337. on this a while guys. Well guys I replaced a condenser. Nope. I don't think you guys saw the spark but hold you guys up here. When I'm watching the camera, I can't see it. There you go. I know you guys saw it that time for sure, but... It is sparking every time around. I double check the points again. But it works every time on the bench. Every time. Guys, shoot. 
should be able to see this. I mean, I'm blocking all the light, but... A nice bright blue spark! Let me look at it again without... Eh, it's pretty good. I'll double check the points again and... Run some, uh, run a rag through them or something, a clean, clean rag, and, uh, throw it back on the tracker. I don't know what else to do with it. It's weird. The only other thing, I mean, I could be the coil, but why does it work so damn good on a bench? I'm going to try putting the ground to the cylinder head, too, and we'll see what that does. So, see you guys back over there.